of a raw food baby mom and dad. Today we have a mom. Uh, we will do a, a very nice, short and quick recipe for the plant milk. Uh, there is a lot of different uh, plant milks, but um, if you want them uh, raw, most of the time this is nuts or seeds and it's a fatty milk. Uh, and we can't uh, uh, really uh, well combine it with fruit if you want uh, a smoothie based on the plant milk or a milkshake or something uh, a bit richer than just the fruit and greens uh, plant milk is a good idea even if we don't drink milk and I see uh, no point in having milk in your diet uh, of any kind sometimes this drink is uh, really delicious, it's very well digested and is full of minerals. That's the point. So from time to time you can have such a milk uh, in a nice warm smoothie or uh, most of all you can introduce it in a smoothies in place uh, of the water uh, to enrich it uh, for babies and children. So what do we have? It's not a nut, uh, it's not a seed, it's more like a tubercule, so uh, like potatoes or um, peanuts. It's uh, growing in the earth and it's a very very small nut, so you know maybe already what it is, chufa or tiger nuts. And there, is, there are two names, two different names. It's a very hard um, kind of nut, even if it's not uh, a nut really, and it's not fatty, it's more sweet than, than rich uh, in, uh, in fat. So you can have a very nice plant-based raw milk, vegan and rich of nutrients that will combine really well with bananas or dates or other sweet fruit to create a very nice milkshake like texture. So we have here one cup of uh, tiger nuts soaked at least 24 hours. It's a very very hard nut. You can eat it, you can chew on it but then you spit out all the fiber because it's very very fibrous. And eating it like that can be very challenging uh, for some uh, people who uh, have um, fragile and sensitive intestines. So, for a healthy gut, it's a nice fiber, but it can be really irritating. So, one cup of uh, tiger nuts. So, we use it uh, exclusively in milks. Let's say a few times per year, but it's a very nice drink. Uh, four cups of the same amount of water so I measured uh, one cup of dried uh, tiger nuts you can add some dates to sweet it up even more but it's naturally already sweet and then you can always add some dates uh, if you want to use this milk to create some milkshakes so let's blend in a beloved uh, Abel's blender. Uh, it's Optimum uh, 9200A, uh, one of our favorite blenders for a very affordable price. Uh, we will have the um, discount codes for you in every uh, English speaking country as well as in France. So please check it up on our website soon available so wait a little bit uh, we will be very very glad to offer you a discount count, uh, code for all optimum blenders and this one is one of our favorite it's a very powerful blender so you need to learn how to use it uh, let's uh, put on fast and we'll blend for about one one and a half, one and a half minute or at least twice 45 second program. Now let's do this. And our milk is almost ready. It's nice 
slightly warm. Now I need to separate the fiber from the milk, from the liquid. So I have a nut milk bag here. And I just put all that in. We'll use the blender later to make some smoothie. And if you'd like to have um, some more recipe or you would like to see a recipe for a uh, hot chocolate, raw vegan hot chocolate with Abel, please let us know. Please subscribe, uh, press a like button and support our channel. So I wanted just to say that this milk is wonderful for children and babies. Uh, when you use it for children and for babies, don't create milkshakes or nut milk that uh, contains some cacao powder. Use rather use um, a carob powder for the chocolate flavor because cacao is quite um, exciting. And they have uh, many problems uh, with sleep later on. Even me, I can't have a raw chocolate anymore. After so many years of a raw food diet, I can't support all the excitants anymore. So we use, uh, we use carrot powder. But sometimes, sometimes, uh, just for the taste, uh, you can have a little bit of cacao. my hands and the milk is ready let's try mm. it's just delicious mm. it's a little bit like commercial rice milk very fluid very mm, slightly sweet and very mild texture you can do a lot of things with it and above all combine it with bananas here is our meal one uh, last thing put it in a large jar that you can easily put your hand in because at, um, after some uh, few days you will have some um, starch at the bottom uh, so you just take a uh, fork and you scratch it and it will go away so it, there is a little bit of starch in, uh, in this milk delicious plant-based loaf